Hey everyone, John here from testprepinsight.com and today I'm going to be running down a list of the best PE exam prep courses. And this is a particularly important video this year because there have been some significant updates to the format of the PE exam here in 2024 and almost all of the prep companies that we've reviewed have made corresponding changes to their programs. So let's get into it. But before I just dive right in and forget, just as a heads up that since I'll just be covering the major highlights in this video, if you find you need some more detail at any point, you can always get some more information about all of this over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Best PE Exam Prep Courses. That's the quickest way to get there. All right, so like I just mentioned, there have been some big changes to the PE Civil Exam this year, with the biggest being the removal of the breath portion of the exam. This has been a huge change. Basically, all of the common knowledge areas that have been tested across the five civil disciplines are now gone. Going forward, all five PE civil exams, this means construction, geotechnical, structural, transportation, and water resources and environmental, will only test depth content for that specific discipline. The intent here is to have more focused exams that test engineers on the stuff that they actually deal with day in and day out, as opposed to testing things that they don't see in their day-to-day -day work. And to that last point, the NCES has also updated industry terminology to modernize the exam and get away from some of the older, more academic terminology that was previously used. Now, in terms of how this directly impacts the exam, there's not necessarily any new content. It's the same depth content that's being tested, just more of it. You're now going to see additional depth questions replacing the old breadth questions. And the exam duration and testing windows aren't changing either. It's still gonna be 80 total questions tested over nine hours, and the PE Civil is still gonna be offered year round. That is not changing. It's really just the removal of the breadth portion of the exam with the additional emphasis on depth questions. That's what you need to be aware of. Now, with all of that being said, obviously prep providers have had to update their study materials to account for this change. But luckily, it really hasn't been a huge lift for them, mostly just removing breadth content and building in more depth content. But nonetheless, it has required revamping programs and we've repurchased and re-reviewed the courses from all of the major prep companies to test out what the courses are like post-exam update. And following our evaluation, our number one ranked course and program that we think is currently the best overall is School of PE. Essentially for our team, when you look at all the factors that matter with a prep course, they have the best combination of value, realistic practice work, and in-depth instruction. It's a close call, but they get our overall top grade and here's why. First, they have a very smart and organized course structure. You know exactly what you're supposed to be studying, when, and where it is. All of your review material and practice work is organized into sections under a course materials tab based on topics tested on the exam. Basically, for every testable subject, there's a study unit that consists of five core components. Refresher notes, workshop problems and solutions, lecture videos, quizzes, and flashcards. Since this is just a high level video, I'm not gonna break down each of those in detail. Check out our full review video of School of PE if that's what you want, I'll have that link down below. But just know that this course structure is very effective. Then second, School of PE has some very good video lessons. In terms of format and production value, these videos aren't exactly jumping off the screen at you, but the content is very good. It's a pretty classic and effective approach. Again, the production value isn't that amazing, but the content is really good. And then lastly, we think School of PE offers a really good written review guide. It's been updated for the changes to the PE civil exam. It gives special test taking strategies for the new-ish CBT format of the exam, it covers all of your need to know information in a very efficient and streamlined manner, and it integrates really seamlessly with the new digital portion of their course. But anyway, that's why we have School of PE ranked number one. It's a comprehensive course with a smart structure, solid on-demand video lessons, and a nicely updated review guide. Now, in terms of cost, School of PE offers some nice value. It's not the most expensive course, but it's also not the cheapest out there. Their live online course costs around $2,400 for retail, and their on-demand course runs for around $1,800. Now, that might sound expensive, but it's actually in the middle of the road these days for PE exam prep courses. And luckily, School of PE is really aggressive with discounts, and you can generally find this course for around $300 off during early registration, Plus, you can usually stack that with another coupon code for an additional $100 or so off. So do make sure to look for coupon codes and discounts if there's a sale on before buying. In fact, I'll actually do my best to keep that description down below updated with the most current discounts and promo codes that I can find floating around out there for all the companies that I'll be discussing today. So make sure to check out that text below the video screen and maybe save yourself some money if one of these courses ends up being the right fit for you. 
All right, so right behind School of PE in the number two spot, and it is a very close number two, is PPI to pass. And PPI is similar to School of PE in a lot of ways. This is a comprehensive full-scale prep course that covers everything. Live classes, on-demand video lectures, practice problem sets with video solutions, written study materials, mock exams, lesson companion books, just everything. But if there are two things above all else that earn PPI a spot on our best list, it's their live online classes and their printed review guide. So let's start with the classes. If you know you're gonna struggle to stay on track and accountable to yourself to study for the PE, or if you just learn better in a live class environment, then think long and hard about PPI. Not only will these classes add some nice structure to your study plan and give you a fixed schedule to stay on pace, but they're just plain good. The PPI instructors have an incredible mastery of the material on the exam, and they're really good communicators as well, which in a way, since you've probably been out of school for a while, might almost be more important. But in short, their live classes are engaging and the lesson plans are very smart and efficient. We were just really impressed with this aspect of the PPI course. So again, if you're planning on taking live classes, we liked PPIs the best in the space. And then second, there's the books. So PPI to Pass provides some of the most authoritative text and reference manuals on the market, and they're generally regarded as the gold standard. They are crazy comprehensive, detailed, covering everything on the exam, yet somehow still manage to be readable even despite all that detail. They make very good use of sample problems and use a lot of bullet points and call out boxes, which makes key info easier to digest. So I suppose the big takeaway here is that if you're an old school text-based type of learner and you prefer assigned reading over on-demand video lessons, it's really hard to beat PPI. Their books are incredibly good. Now, if there is one downside with PPI, it's the price. The PPI Live Online course costs around $2,600, which obviously isn't cheap. The on-demand package is a little cheaper at around $1,800, but no matter how you cut it, PPI to pass is the premier expensive prep provider in the space. Though like School of PE, PPI is also pretty good about running sales and special promos, and you can usually find their courses for around 15% off, so make sure to check for that. Again, discount links will be down below in the description for you. All right, so at this point, I've given you our two highest rated prep courses based on all of the factors that we evaluate. But look, I get that both of these are kind of pricey. So if at this point you're looking for something slightly more affordable, that's gonna be the next course. The number three course on our list is Civil Engineering Academy. They're our pick for best value and offer a lot of bang for your buck. So let's just start right out with cost. The full course costs just $800, effectively one third of the price of the live online courses from School of PE and PPI to pass. And even comparing the on-demand courses, which this one is, Civil Engineering Academy is about $1,000 cheaper. So for the engineers out there who don't wanna break the bank on their prep, this is gonna be your best bet. Now, to be clear, Civil Engineering Academy does not have the same depth of coursework as School of PE or PPA to pass, and their study materials are leaner and more streamlined, but they're still plenty good to get you fully prepped. So if you're good having a leaner curriculum, then Civil Engineering Academy provides some of the better study resources that we've reviewed. Here's how their course works. Everything revolves around 10 primary learning modules that consist of video lectures and practice problem explanations. In the video lectures, your instructor, Usually course founder Isaac provides high level instructions surrounding each of the topics tested on the exam. He covers high level theory, notes, and must know equations, and then dives into practice problems, which he uses to teach the points he discusses. These video practice problems are probably the most valuable part of the course where Isaac cuts through the questions by cross-referencing equations in the reference manual and showing you how to solve some of the tougher problems. Plus with every module, you get downloadable lecture slides where you can take notes along the way. In between modules, you can always work extra practice problems. There's about 500 extra in the course, which is a decent amount given the price. So in short, with the video lectures and the learning modules, downloadable notes, realistic practice problems, and video breakdowns of solutions, it's a nice bundle of study materials. Now, if there are any downsides to going with Civil Engineering Academy, it's two things. First is the fact that there are no live classes with this package. It's a straightforward, self-paced program that could be a bit of an issue for people that need structured study. And then second, they only cover the civil version of the PE exam. So if you're taking the exam for another discipline, then unfortunately, Civil Engineering Academy is not gonna work for you. But otherwise, if you want an on-demand self-paced course for one of the five PE civil exams where you can drive your own studies, then Civil Engineering Academy is a fantastic option, especially for only $800. And even at that, we do sometimes see Civil Engineering Academy knock five or 10% off the price, so make sure to look for current coupon codes. 
But anyway, that about does it for the detail in this video. So let's get to my final thoughts and verdict. But before I give you that, I just want to mention that since you're studying for the PE exam, we actually give away a free prep course every single month here at Test Prep Insight. It's super simple to enter in. Everyone is actually eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to get entered, but just know it'll take like 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free PE exam prep course. All right, so time for the final verdict. Which PE exam prep course should you go with? Well, at the end of the day, I think it sort of depends on what features you're looking for as well as your budget. If you're trying to get your prep done for under $1,000, then go with Civil Engineering Academy. Their course isn't quite as robust as the courses from PPI or School of PE, but it's a very solid package for the price and it's good enough to get you there. If price is less of an issue though, and you're more so just concerned with doing what it takes to get your PE license, then our picks are School of PE and PPI to pass. If you plan to make live classes a central component of your study plan, or if you prefer text-based learning, then go with PPI to pass. They do cost slightly more, but it's an ultra immersive prep program and we give them very good grades. Or if you're simply looking for the best all around self-paced prep course on the market, then that would be School of PE. With some stellar on-demand video lessons, insightful study notes, and quality practice material, they just do everything really well and get our highest overall grade. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something about all these different companies. If so, please return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and drop me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed written guide that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website. Again, that's testprepinsight.com, or you can check out the other videos we have on our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching. Best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.